Now I know people are gonna get hella mad at this video and are probably already screaming in the comments and that's okay, cause this video isn't about tips and tricks. We already have a couple of those on this channel and I'll leave them in the comments if you wanna check those out. No, this video is more so about philosophy and the way you play the game. My name's Holotide, I make Halo content here on YouTube. I'm like 100 subscribers away from 10K, and I made a bet with one of my friends that we would hit it before September, and we're also gonna have a 10,000 sub montage coming up. So if you like the video, if you agree with the video, or if you hate me and you wanna keep up to date with the other videos that I make, go ahead and sub. All right, so let's get into the video. We all know that Halo Infinite is lacking content. We all know the challenge system is less than desirable. We all want a real progression system. We want more maps, more modes, PvE activities, campaign DLC, just more of everything. The Halo community loves Halo, and we just want more of it. The problem that I'm finding is that players are burning themselves out, especially with the six month seasons. We run through the battle pass, we run through event passes, we grind challenges for, frankly, rewards that we may never use, and ultimately some come to feel that playing Halo Infinite is a chore rather than playing a game. And that's super unfortunate. Now, obviously I can get the other side of it, where you may come and say, Hollow Tide, it should have, you know, released with more content. Yes, Hollow Tide, they should have delayed it probably, you know, another year. Yeah, probably. I can't really argue with that. That's your opinion. That's your, your outlook on the game. And nobody is going to change your mind. But what I can tell you is to just take a break. Just step back. You're really not missing out on anything. People talk about FOMO and whatnot and not being able to, you know, unlock armors and everything. But really, if there's nothing in the store you want and the weekly reward is trash and you're never going to use it, don't, don't do the challenges. Just don't do them. Go have fun in the game. Play what you want to play. I personally, you know, really dislike the, the challenge system because I feel like it makes you play in a way that you would normally not play and play game modes that might tire you out way faster than others. I hate Tactical Slayer, I won't lie. And when I get challenges for that, I groan. And I'm like, well, do I really want to use my swaps or do I just want to stick it out? And then I go play like one round and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I don't even want to play the game anymore. So I get that. But we've all seen the leaks. We've all seen, you know, new weapons, equipment, game modes. Speaking of game modes, we're going to have certain affinities, thing, whatever that is, coming out. We know things like Infection and Forge, and there's just so much that's on the horizon that my advice to you is to not burn out now. I know a lot of people are going to feel jaded, you know, playing the last year of Infinite in the state that it is. And it's so easy for, you know, somebody to say, well, if you don't like it, don't play it or, you know, just move on to a different game. No, because I understand that when you like something, you, you want to focus on that. I get that. I really do. We all want Halo to be this, you know, magical place to play a game. We want the old days back, you know, the golden era of Halo. And it's a double edged sword. In my personal opinion, I do think that Halo Infinite's best days are obviously ahead of it. I think the game is going to be fine. I think 343 is going to basically do a relaunch. Now, will that bring a huge population back? Will that bring a huge population back to PC? Will we see 250,000 people concurrently on Steam again? Probably not. And honestly, that's okay at this point. That's just my honest opinions. I, I really do feel like we force ourselves in today's gaming age. You know, we get hooked on getting some type of dopamine or whatever it is from unlocking things that we force ourselves to play in a way that we don't want to. I have a full-time job and I guess what you could call a social life. And you know, I have a family and whatnot. And I have have not been focusing on Halo Infinite or, you know, like unlocking everything or anything like that for a long time now. And I could honestly say that I enjoy the game more because of that. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch y'all around the ring. Peace!